He's gone. I don't know, it doesn't look too dangerous. Vincent's dead. Ah. Uh, I'm not gonna try again. I don't see that as being a thing you can do anything about. This is just a really specific transition. How do you get the gnome through this if you're doing the gnome achievement? Maybe it's specially coded to know to load the node on the other side gnome on the other side if it goes through. They probably designed the gnome unless you can put the gnomes in your wrist, but that what? Where's my vodka? I don't have weapons either. Oh. Maybe he'll be on the- maybe he will be on the other side. Maybe this is just gonna be a weird dream sequence thing. Okay. <laughs> I hope that's not Vincent. Good! Uh. What is happening? We're playing music. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm armed. Left hand armed. Are these like hints of the old world? There better not be a head crap in this part because I am defenseless. I will not be fond of that trick. <laughs> It's not Gordon, what if it's like G Man? Whatever it is, it sounds like it's a bad thing, apparently. Am I supposed to jump there? No. Uh. Oh god. Am I doing this right? This seems dangerous. Death. Am I, am I, am I waiting or going? That's, oh. I just couldn't hold it while I was doing it. Weird. Yep. Doing a calculator? Be gone. No math for you. What a visual. Jeez. Okay, we're fine. Come on, headcrab. Oh, headcrab, let's do this. I just don't trust you deep down inside. There we go. <sighs> no. Russ.
Ooh. <laughs> Fell down. This looks like the hotel. Ah, hat. I can't even wear hats now? Okay, I can wear the hat. I'm like, how far gone are we? Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh. Okay, I wasn't supposed to do that. What exactly was I supposed to do? I kind of wasn't expecting death in this segment, because it's like, woo. That piece. Mystical, gravity-defying. Here's the part where they play the music or whatever. I fucked up. <laughs> hey, that didn't break instantly like the other ones did. Ah. I think I was supposed to be able to walk over here. Why did I have trouble? Yeah, this time I'm making it. Why didn't I make it last time? I, like, collided with something. I'm supposed to use this ladder, I think. Yeah. Hey, there we go. All we can do, we'll toast to Vincent together. Um. Um, can I jump that far? Maybe here? On the chair? Ugh! I hate you. Stop it. God damn it. <laughs> Don't do this to me. Uh, I'm gonna drop one of these. Oh! Please stop fucking with me with head crabs. No barnacles either. My hand's getting slippery from holding this this long. What time is it? I don't even know where that went. Up, I guess? This world done lost is goddamn mind. <laughs> what? Well, this looks dangerous. Please don't shred me with your psychic silverware. Oh, that's not going anywhere. Are they trying to simulate real life in some way? To trick you? There's still headcrab zombies in here too. <laughs> Stop it. There's even a fucking head crab. God damn it. Stop it. It's flying around. I don't want this. Now he's flying around. Is he gonna fucking fly at me? G uh, I hate this. Do I have to jump in that hole? Uh, yep, I think I do. Okay. What the fuck is happening? Where are they fighting? Is 
Is this like the seven hour war? <laughs> of course. Uh. Okay, time to get seasick ish. Good thing I don't get motion sick, because this place is really weird. Whoa. <laughs> There's a light where the ceiling should be. Uh, I don't want to jump, because I'll probably hit my ceiling fan. Where are you going, buddy? It doesn't conservation of momentum at all, that's for sure. All the ashtrays are being drawn there. That's like the ashtray maze. Not really, but that's what it was called in Control, so it's kind of funny those we're having ashtrays during the freak out part. It's kind of like a maze. I can't... Oh! Yep. Well. That really cleared the place out. What? Oh. Let me have things. Dick. This looks safe. Uh, isn't this the tunnel with all the enemies in it? Well, this is new. Do I like pew pew at her? Uh, <laughs> well, this. Where's the grenade? Oh, it was on him. Well, this takes me back to episode one. The super gravity gun. Also green, I think. I get to have superpowers. Fuck you! Boom! This is absurd. I can't figure out how to do it though. There you go. Do I just do a gesture? Okay, so I don't. There's another healing item there. Gah! Ow. Well. I could really use another uh, attack now. 
Okay, I'm not, I'm not, it's not, it's like not the trigger. I can't figure out how to actually do the attack. I just kind of flail and get there eventually. Oh shit. I can't, get, gah, gah, gah. Uh. Uh, all right, that's a little frustrating. How do you... It doesn't quite make sense. So you don't... Maybe you just go Dah! really hard. But pulling the trigger doesn't do it. Letting go like you're throwing something doesn't do it. So it might just be like... Gah! Really hard or something, but it's like finicky. It's kind of... Un it's kind of... Uh, undercutting the, the coolness of it a little bit. But... We'll get there eventually. What fucked me also is that this room's full of stuff, but they closed this door, so I was actually out of powers. I couldn't grab any more to use. Alright, so let's hold one in both hands. No healing items. Let's not use any of the ones from in here until, until I have to. You run out. Ah, they took that one away. I still haven't hit him, what the fuck? Gah! Finally. Ah, ha, ha. Okay, this is... this is fin finicky. <laughs> what? It's so hard. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. This is bad. Yep. I can't get around him! I don't have any more. I'm dead. All right, come on. This is not. I, I feel like this isn't supposed to be hard. I feel like this is supposed to be like a silly power fantasy. Look how badass I am, but it's hard actually. Because <laughs> you can't like aim them and they just hit like walls and shit. And then you're like, well, that's all my ammo. I can only get more ammo by going forward, but the enemies are there. And so I can't get past the enemies to the ammo that's left. We this is weirdly challenging in a way that I don't feel like is the, po the point. I'm trying really hard here. Look. Take so many attempts. I don't like it very much. Alright, well. Try to go punch. Maybe that's better. Punch. What? It went there. What the fuck? It didn't go even vaguely straight. This is, this is annoying. This can't be working as intended. Why is it so hard? Hello. Well. Uh, any heals left? Because I'm in trouble now. Ah, shit. Okay.
Ah, oh, goddammit. Oop, there it goes. Somebody's in a hurry. Phew. Oh. There's more of them. Wait, where'd he go? Did the same guy just run back really fast? Maybe that was the same guy. Okay. Are they all gone? Oh shit, they're all gone. That's not good. You guys look strange. Get out of here. Just in case I need it. Put it in there. Good time to do this, actually. Woo! Oh, that's a lot of grenades. Bowling! Not, not the best. Ah. There you go. Hey! Can I put these on my wrists again? Okay, so this works again, at least. But while this is here, I can't put anything in my other wrist. How did that not hit him? Okay, come on, man. It hit a piece. <laughs> All right. Sorry, buddy. It hit like a shred of wood that was between me and him, and it, and then it, that consumed the entire blast somehow. Okay, grenades. Left hand and right hand, and then his wrist ones. Oopsie. Really? There we go. I'm trying to time it. You can cook a grenade. Ow, shit. Okay, this is not going very well for me. What? The fuck was that? Whoa! I guess our powers are back all of a sudden. Okay. That's bad news for you guys. God damn it. I hate it. Why? Is it supposed to be infuriating? <laughs> Was that like what they were going for? I'm so confused. Right, I had two of them in my wrists. Use those earlier when I felt like I was out of them. 
Sit down. Alright, well we did it. We got there eventually. Oops, that casts it. Whoops. Now what am I meant to do? Hello. I'm in danger. Oh boy. These really are like the portal light bridges, aren't they? The hard light bridge. My grenades fell out! Why? All these item purges. You guys are being very mean. I'm trying to stockpile items for my own benefit. And you're just like, no, I'm not planning for the future. Only spite. G-Man. You guys capture G-Man? You can do that? What is G-Man? Alright, Gordon. Let's get you out of this thing. He's in like a he's in like a magneto prison. Oh, now I'm allowed to grab him. Whoop. Impressive work, Ms. Vance. Gordon Freeman? Oh, Gordon the eyes. Freeman. <laughs> Miss Vance, you wouldn't need all that to imprison Gordon Freeman. So, who are you? Perhaps what I am is not as important as what I can offer you in exchange for coming all this way. Some believe the fate of our worlds is inflexible. My employers disagree. They authorize me to nudge things in a particular direction from time to time. What would you want nudge? Miss Vance. The Combine off Earth. I want the Combine off Earth. Uh, that would be a considerably large nudge. Too large, given the interests of my employers. Well, you asked. What if I could offer you something you don't know you want? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Dad, Dad, please. Stay with me. Oh shit. Dad? Dad? What? Is that me? What is this? What's happening? We are in the future. This is the moment where you watch your father die. 
Unless... What? Unless what? Unless you were to take matters into your own hands. Holy shit, they're they're retconning the the current game. Good. As a consequence of your action, this entity will continue. And this entity will not. Right. So he's okay, right? He lives. My dad lives. You are aware that you've proven yourself to be of extraordinary value. A previous hire has been unable or unwilling to perform the tasks laid before him. We have struggled to find a suitable replacement until now. No! I, I, I just want to go home! Send me home! I'm afraid you misunderstand the situation, Miss Vance. Wait! Hey, wait! 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 Oh. <laughs> He doesn't even give you a choice. We got something in return, but he really does just force you into the situation. Oh, it just ends. Shit, them and them, them and their cliffhangers, huh? You don't get to go back and see Russ. You didn't save Gordon Freeman. We just get the one detail, which is that we changed the outcome of the previous cliffhanger. Because Half-Life 2 Episode 2 ends with with uh, Eli dying. And we just saved Eli Vance. I assume the timeline still works out the same, right? So, like, we still are Alex the same way through? And then, half, like, we go through and play through with... With, uh... Gordon Freeman and everything later. Does this mean he's just going to stop bothering Gordon at some point? And I guess he's going to be moving Alex through and using him for th using her for things. Which I guess Gordon, I guess that means Gordon's no longer like borderline invincible. Because I think the only reason Gordon's even alive at this point is because he was saved multiple times by the G-Man. But that happens after this. I'm confused. Maybe he still want, has a use for Gordon? Even if he's a pain in the ass? I gotta say, sitting through credits, which I like to politely record, is more of a pain in the ass when I'm literally standing here in VR the whole time. My face is starting to hurt. <laughs> I know some of those voice actors, I think. I think I've heard of Sissy Jones. All the credits? That was really short. Gordon! Gordon! Wake up, Gordon. She's gone, Gordon. She's gone. Son of a bitch and his unforeseen consequences! I knew it! When I get my hands on him, I'm gonna... I'm gonna Dog! I gotta figure this out. Right now. We got to do. Oh shit.
So Alex, so Alex has gone then. Shit. So now the next game, if they make one, is us as Gordon trying to find and save Alex. If you don't have the VR to play this... Oh, hey, there's the game. If you don't have the VR to play this game, that's going to be a very confusing uh, story development <laughs> between episodes 2 and 3 of Half-Life 2. Or between episode... Two and Half-Life 3? But like, this was kind of Half-Life 3? It even becomes the explanation for what happens next in the story. Huh. I was waiting for context. I was like... they At the beginning of the game, they say that, e that Alex Vance dies. I mean, that uh, Eli Vance dies. And I'm like, why spoil that? And it's like, oh, that's because the game is going to change that ending, so you have to know that context. But I, I figured it was going to come up at some point, but I'm like, is this game going to tie into Half-Life 2 Episode 2? Because it's so far before that. Well, alright. This was a fucking joy to play. I had some misgivings about, like, yeah, the lightning powers were like, why was this so, Why is this weirdly uncontrollable? The the Alex got uh, tedious after a while. Just all the, all, the all the uses of the Alex were just kind of like, alright, I get it. I don't really want to play this minigame anymore. Uh... But overall, I just, I just had a good time. I, don't, I can't think of what else. Oh yeah, ladders were shit. You know a game's great if you're complaining about the ladders. As like, that's like top three things to complain about is the normal controls for ladders being so bad. But Russ is great. I just want more, I just want more games from Valve. I'll take Half-Life games, I'll take Portal games. Portal 2 is one of my favorite games of all time. None of the none of the Half Life games are in my like favorite games of all time list at all, but they're all good, and it's just nice to feel like a game was just made to be a game because somebody wanted to make it, and not because it's like we have to make this annual release and it's an open world game with crafting and a map full of nodes to do because people like that. But we, we our our crowdsourced blah 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 told says that people like that stuff, and it's just like I nah. I guess we, we lost Vincent, but there was also never a moment of gameplay in the real world after that point, so that's as far as you can get Vincent to go, so I guess it's also as far as you can get... Uh, it's also probably as far as you can get the other thing to go. The gnome. Welcome back to this place. Hey! A slight, there's a handful more posters. I don't really spend any time here. Uh, but every now and then I'll be like, I should try to find more. And I hate it, because you have to be like... Uh, things, I guess? Artwork? From community? And it's like, cool. No, that's fine, yeah. Just load all of the games. Okay, this this beginning part's not like that exactly, but after a bit it's like, yo, let's just load every video game ever in alphabetical order. So, Awkward Dimensions, A Wolf and Autumn, A Year of Rain, Azure and Trials, BCE, Baba is you, like it's alphabetical from top to bottom, and like, does Baba is you have a good one? I'm actually curious. I could do with a Baba is you in my environment. The cluster of Babas, Baba looking himself in the mirror. Hmm. It takes a while to load, obviously, so that, that's also not great in its own way. But the issue is that, like, I have... Uh, like, I have, like, I don't know, 2,000, 3,000, something like that games, and there's no search function on this thing, so it's just like... At some point, they stop showing up, so you just, like, scroll really hard. And you're like, I'm looking for a game somewhere around, like, I don't know, T? So you just like, maybe it's this many of scrolls and then you like wait for a bit maybe look away because looking at it is kind of uncomfortable yeah like, all right do it i don't even know where i am in the oh there we go we made it to m <laughs> like that's that's the process it's a pain but uh i don't care that much about de decorating this place necessarily but that's how you get those and it's like a, that's a lot how do i there we go Oopsie. Oh, right, I can't walk here. I forgot. Okay, we have, uh... We've got, uh, Kentucky Route Zero, Subnautica, just a duplicate of my desktop sitting here. 
Got your pyre. Fidel Dungeon Rescue. Dark wood, dark wood, and uh, and Ghost of a Tale. Kind of a plain background, but then there's the one that just came with it. Uh. <laughs> I use my posters to express myself. I don't know. I don't. I don't really know how to get more much more in here. I haven't spent that much time in like VR chat or any time in VR chat or these like lobbies yet. Hmm. I don't, probably would help if I knew a single person with VR. Uh, but anyway, that was Half Life Alex. We did it. Let's go outside of here. That was a good game. I, I don't know, it's really refreshing when a AAA game feels like it was like somebody's like vision, and they wanted to make it. And not just like it's just churned out because so much of, of AAA is just nobody really wanted to make this that badly is what it feels like at least if anyone had any vision it was just filtered right out by the being wrung out by the process or something was that really the list of credits for who worked on that game because that was so short maybe there's a longer version somewhere they didn't want to wait, make people wait that long. But yeah, I look forward to seeing if they make anything else. For a long time, I thought that Valve just structurally was incapable of making new games because of the way that they handle their business and that we would just never get more ever again. Now I'm wearing their VR headset and I'm playing their game and hopefully next time it's not a wait of like 13 years. Maybe not that, you know? That'd be good. Anyway, I'm, I look forward to seeing what... Uh, what uh, Patreon picks next. See you next time. Mm -hmm.